Hello guys, welcome to technology and today we are going to show you a video on how to root your Xperia devices running on Android 5.0.2 or 5.1.1 or basically on any version of lo Lollipop. So um, if you, this will work on all Xperia devices and uh, the method will be almost the same except you will have to download some different files for your different devices. So firstly before we begin, first thing that you need to uh, uh, first thing that is required for this uh, tutorial is you will need to download flash tool the link will be in the description below for ease of access so you can just go or click on the link and access uh, the download directly the other thing is you will need to download the firmware uh, for your uh, phone now firmware you need to download Android KitKat firmware for your phone so you can just go on Google search for the firmware and uh, you should find the firmware for your device just for example if you're using an Xperia Z2 or a Z3 compact you'll just have to type Xperia Z3 compact FTF I, I mean Android 4.1 uh, uh, FT 4.4 uh, FTF and uh, you will be redirected to a link where you can download the uh, KitKat firmware after you download the FTF file, uh, you will have it and what you need to do is uh, and you are after you, you might have already installed a flash tool as well. So you need to take that FTF file, you need to go to your uh, you need to go to your uh, computer, then you need to go to uh, your C drive and depending on the version of flash tool you uh, uh, that you have uh, the you need to paste that file in the firmware directly. Uh, directory so um, I'm using the latest version of fa uh, flash tool so I'm gonna go to users uh, your username and then uh, you're going to go to fla uh, flash tool then you're gonna go to firmware and you can see I've already pasted the file for my phone I'm doing this on an Xperia Z3 compact so here is the firmware just need to paste it here and you're done so after that you need to go uh, to flash tool uh, here I have installed flash tool so I'm just going to open it and uh, give it administrative privileges and it will open and my f and you need to connect your phone to the computer as well using the USB cable and before you do that uh, just go in your settings uh, folder of your phone and then uh, go to about phone and in about phone you need to go to build number and just tap on your build number seven times to enable developer options if you haven't already done that after enabling developer options uh, you should go back and uh, or just above on the settings in the last place of the settings you will find the developer options you need to open it and then you need to go to USB debugging and you need to turn it on after you've done that uh, your phone will be detected in the system and uh, here you can see uh, I've already rooted my phone so it says root access allowed but for you it will not show root access allowed since your phone is not rooted uh, so anyways after connecting your phone you need to go to this uh, thunder icon over here you need to go to f uh, fast boot mode click ok and then you need to click this uh, button over here that says reboot into fast boot mode via adb uh, after you've done that you just need to click it and your phone will reboot into fast boot mode via adb Okay guys, now that you uh, your device has been rebooted in ADV and it's connected, uh, let it be connected to the PC still. Uh, after that, what you're going to need to do is you're going to go to this thunder icon again, go to flash mode, click OK. And yeah, if you have successfully pasted your file uh, in your firmware folder, like I told you, you'll find your firmware uh, file over here, FTF file, you just uh, select it. I mean, it's already selected. So uh, you select all these three boxes over here, uh, app lock. Um, cache and data so you're gonna wipe all this and uh, that's it after that you're gonna go ahead and click flash at the bottom and you uh, your phone uh, your firmware should start flashing and you'll uh, see the loading uh, screen uh, loading uh, option over here so it will just load and you'll get uh, statistics on the top so that's it after you have uh, flashed the firmware um, you can just uh, turn on your device as usual and we'll continue from there okay guys now that you have uh, installed your firmware and you have booted into your uh, phone you will be running android 4.4 uh, currently i'm using android 5.1 because i've already tried uh, i've already done this step so uh, this will be pretty much the same in case you have any problems uh, rooting your phone do let me know in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to help you out 
uh, the next step that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to install king root 4.5 uh, the link to the application is uh, in the description below just go ahead and click that you need to download it through your phone's browser and uh, after you have downloaded it you need to go to the app tray and you need to go to es file explorer or any other uh, file uh, uh, file explorer that you might have just go and open it and then i'm going to go to my internal storage over here in your internal storage there will be a downloads folder just open the downloads folder and then you will find the apk called uh, king root 4.5 go ahead and open it and then install it uh, in case your uh, unknown sources is not uh, checked uh, do go in the settings from here and you need to turn on your unknown sources like you can see in the video here and go back again click on this install and then go next 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 n install uh, then the next thing is I understand and then click install anyways okay and the king root should be installed successfully then you go click done go back all the way click close your uh, file explorer and then you need to go ahead and open king root and for your phone it will just uh, i'm not going to do this because i've already done uh, my phone is already rooted but as soon as you click uh, king root uh, 4.5 uh, your phone should get uh, rooted automatically and uh, in case you were now you are rooted on 4.4 but if you want to go ahead and uh, install 5.1.1 uh, or 5.0 uh, version on your phone uh, you just follow the next step that I will guide you on how to uh, recover your phone back to the latest <laughs> Okay guys now that you have installed uh, King root 4.5 successfully on your phone the next step you're going to do is if you want to upgrade your phone You need to follow these other steps. So firstly what you're going to need to do is you're going to uh, need to download something called exit dual recovery now this uh, this will vary from device to device so let's say for example if you're using an Xperia Z1 then you need to type Xperia Z1 exit dual recovery on Google and you need to download that file. Now this will work on, this is the only recovery that will work on locked bootloaders. So if you if you have, if you don't want to lock, unlock your boot, bootloader and you want to use recovery, this is the one that will work. So uh, for me, I, I typed Xperia Z3 compact uh, dual recovery and I got this exit dual recovery from the XDA page. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, connect my phone through the USB to the phone. I mean to the PC and then I'm going to turn on USB debugging like I did earlier just make sure that the USB debugging is turned on after you've done all that just go ahead and open this folder and then you need to go ahead and click on install the dot bat okay just go ahead click on install dot bat and just uh, follow this it says installation on ROM rooted with okay you just press number one over here press enter and just be patient It'll say daemon started successfully and it should uh, get started you will see a bunch of uh, stuff that's appearing over here and then you press any key to continue i pressed enter and it's continuing so it's just going to continue and uh, your phone will now uh, reboot and press any key to continue and your phone will reboot into recovery and the next step after this is what you're going to need to do is after your phone has rebooted you're going to connect it to the phone i mean it's already connected to the pc so like that only you just go ahead and uh, you, what you're going to need to download is you're going to need to download the pre-rooted firmware for your phone so for example if you're using xperia z1 or z2 you just type your phone's name like for example xperia z2 in this case i'm typing xperia z3 compact and uh, on google just type xperia z3 compact uh, pre-rooted firmware uh, the latest one so you'll just get the pre-rooted firmware for example Xperia Z3 pre-rooted uh, pre firmware 5.1.1 and you'll get the latest uh, firmware just download it you'll get the zip file what you have to do is just go ahead and copy this zip, uh, copy the zip file and just copy it and go to your uh, internal uh, storage of your phone here the Z3 compact is connected as you can see just go ahead and uh, unlock your phone so you can uh, see all these things go to your in SD card and just paste it so it's already pasted over here as you can see and uh, you just paste it 
and then what you're going to need to do is you're going to go ahead in the recovery of your phone you're going to turn off your phone and turn on the recovery that will just show you how to do that and uh, just go ahead and install the um, zip file that you have just pasted in the sd card okay guys the next step that you're going to need to do after this is you're going to uh, hold down the power button and simultaneously press the volume down or volume up key depending on what uh, uh, recovery you want to use after you do that go and click on wipe advanced wipe and select all the options except the external sd card click swipe just swipe the screen to wipe everything and then uh, go to the uh, sd and then select your uh, um, the file uh, the zip file that you have installed in the external storage select external storage and then just uh, locate your file uh, the zip file and then just swipe to install it and voila your file will get installed instantly finally guys after you have done this step uh, and you have successfully uh, reinstalled and rooted your phone and reinstalled the firmware um, you're all done and if you have any issues or any problems regarding this uh, tutorial do let us know in the comment section below I would be more than happy to help you out and answer to your queries um, again and guys if this uh, is successful do yeah if you like this video uh, do uh, hit the subscribe button and do uh, like this video so it can get popular on YouTube let's see if we can reach about thousand likes um, and and thank you very much for watching guys and thank you very much for 2,000 subscribers as well we really appreciate it and thanks for supporting us uh, don't forget to comment if you have any issues regarding this video thanks for watching guys see you next time on technology peace out